Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Vampire Design, and today I bring some gameplay from the map Plaza, and of course we're playing some Domination, as we always do, bringing you some 65 and 6 gameplay, playing some G Dubs, and I found myself playing mostly Ground War in Black Ops 2 for whatever reason. Uh, notoriously, I'm a 6v6 Dom guy. That's the way it's been for the last two years, the last two games, anyway. And really. That's what I enjoyed, but I'm seeing myself moving to ground war for whatever reason, just because there's more kills to be had. I always complain that the, the connections weren't always the greatest in ground war, and they're really not. I mean, obviously there's six more people involved in the game. There's going to be more connection. You're going to, you know, be involved in more connection-based issues with six more people in the game than without. So, I just, I always try to stay away from ground war, but I just see myself gravitating towards it, and I actually I am enjoying myself. Uh, whether it's because I'm trying to get, you know, more of my friends or subscribers in the party with me, or I'm just going for a high, high kill game, uh, I'm finding it more fun. And I'm not quite sure why I always stayed away from it. To, make a, to give a little background, my first, first love and first person shooters was a game called SOCOM 2. And I'm not quite sure if I've, I've actually, I'm almost positive I've talked about this in numerous commentaries. But in SOCOM 2, for those who haven't played it, it was on uh, PlayStation 2. For those who haven't played it, it wasn't a respawn game. It had different types of game modes, but once you died, that was that was you were dead for the end of the round. And there were seven rounds, first person to four, kind of like, kind of like uh, search and destroys on this game. And playing a game mode like that, I think a game like that, I should say, I think kind of developed the type of player that I am now. I'm not very rush oriented. And I'll get into that a little bit more in a second. But I'm not very rush oriented. And playing a game that's Basically, like you're playing search and destroy every single game mode and game type, it makes you a defensive player. That's the ones that really succeeded in games like that. Most like a lot of the guys that play in search and destroy, you play, you, you don't want to die. Playing search and destroy, you do not want to die because you're done for the round. So that comes, I think, what stems from me being a very defensive player. When I first started playing, well, I started playing COD 4. That was my first Call of Duty. I didn't take it very seriously. I didn't play it much. And I played it mostly on the, on the PC. Didn't play World at War uh, when it was popular, which sucks because I, that's probably one of my that probably is my favorite Call of Duty, and it figures that I miss my favorite Call of Duty in the cycle. I just I never played. I wasn't big at that point. In my life wasn't huge on video games. I mean, I, I was, but I wasn't playing a lot. So my first full, you know, I don't want to say obsession, but my first full game where I was playing it, you know, almost the whole entire life cycle was Modern Warfare 2. And I hate that fucking game. I hate it. But Modern Warfare 2, I only played Search and Destroy. I have like 17 days played on Search and Destroy. I only have 30,000 kills, if that makes any sense to you. For, for uh, an idea of what I normally do, Black Ops 2, I have uh, 30 from Xbox, and anyway, I have 32 days on, and I have 140,000 kills. So, it gives you a little bit of an idea of what uh, the differences are between playing, you know, strictly just Search and Destroy and playing other game modes. So, moving into this, moving into obviously Block Ops 1 and uh, Modern Warfare 3, I still stayed mostly on the 6v6 Dom side, but I think, I think I'm actually ready to move forward on the ground war and stay there as long as I can. Going back to what I was saying about me not being very rush oriented, now I'm trying to implement it more and more in my game, and this game especially, and the reason I bring that up is I'm, I think I overdid it. And my tip for you guys, this, the reason for strictly making this video is, what I want you, what I want to say was, make sure that you guys play this game within your means, or the, or the type of player that you are. Stay within the type of player that you are playing Call of Duty. When this first game, when this game first came out, everybody knows that everybody was proclaiming that the SMGs are the way to go in this game, and rush oriented is the only way that you'll be able to survive. And partially true, because when you first start the game, you don't have Ghost. So, you have to stay on the move at all times when there's a UAV in the air, because you're just a sitting duck if you're not. Once you're able to get Ghost, you can kind of lay back a little bit more. But obviously, you still show up on the radar if there is a UAV called in with Ghost, as long as you're not moving. So, this game prohibits moving around a lot. What I'm, what I'm here to say is, when I first got this game, all I did was run. Run, run, run. I, ne I would never stayed put. And I, my, my game suffered because of it. I had a hard time getting good gameplays. Had a hard time getting the KDs that I'm used to having in all my Call of Duty games. And this just past week, I strictly moved to 
assault rifles again because that's what that's the type of player I am I am a mid-range player which I think is the most important section of Call of Duty you have really good uh, you know close range guys you got long range guys and the mid-range is where you have to excel because that's where everybody's average for the most part and if you can be above average at mid-range and you know obviously as long as your long long range isn't suffering and close range isn't suffering you're gonna be an above average Call of Duty player my opinion, my close, my close range is good. I got good reaction times. My long range is good. My mid range, I think, is what makes me a being a strong player. I can get on target relatively quick. And moving back to the the assault rifles, I'm now able to put up good gameplay consistently. I've, my KD ha is on the rise on both consoles, and it's strictly, in my opinion, due to using the assault rifles. So I'm here to say, if you don't be afraid of the assault rifles. I know. That this game is very, very fast paced. I know that this game is very, very SMG oriented, but also, on the hard disk, that there might be a patch coming to SMGs. So, you may see more and more people move away from the SMGs. I like them. There's a couple of SMGs in the game. The MSNC is probably, if not the best gun, one of the best guns in the game. But there are a lot of assault rifles that can compete with SMGs. Uh, the one I'm using in this gameplay is the M27. I love the fucking gun. I absolutely love it. I put an adjustable stock on it to make it feel like I have Stalker from Modern Warfare 3. I don't need a attachment for uh, like a red dot or a reflex sight on it. The iron sights, this probably has the best iron sights out of any uh, assault rifle in the game. And I just feel comfortable with the gun. Other guns that are good, uh, M8, the AN, the Fall. Guns like the Fall and the M8, if you're able to get select fire on them, are just as good up close as any SMG for the most part. The only SMG, in my opinion, that absolutely shits on everybody up close, no matter what, don't even bother using anything else, is the Scorpion Evo. That gun up close is freaking amazing. Uh, that is probably my favorite SMG. The problem with that gun is it, it suffers from mid to long range. Long range, you might as well just throw a rock at somebody because you fucking ain't going to kill them. So, moral of this commentary is don't buy into all the hype of everybody else. Just because your favorite commentator rushes around the map, and it goes and gets high kill games using uh, an SMG doesn't mean that you have to or that you should. If you're a mid-range guy like myself, there are assault rifles available that will be good to use. And also, I think Von der Haar said something about maybe nerfing the UAV, making it a couple more points to get before you can call it in. So if that's the case, Ghost isn't going to be as prevalent. UAVs aren't going to be as prevalent in the game as well. So moving or sitting around in one spot, not that I'm saying you have to camp, because I don't think you can really camp on this game. There's certain sections that you can camp on, but everybody knows you're fucking there, so you're eventually going to get killed. But just stay within yourself. Play the game like you've played all the other games. And it'll come to you. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it even where we're about a month in now. This week of Call of Duty has been a lot easier on me for the most part compared for the first couple weeks. I don't know if it's because I was trying to change my play style or it's because it's just a new game in general. But uh, I am enjoying the game a little bit more now that we're just about a month in. Actually, we're not even a month in. We got another freaking we're three weeks in. What am I talking about? But first two weeks were four, first two weeks were horrible. This week, not so bad. But anyways, guys, oh, actually, one other thing, Ground War, my one, my one rant of the, of the video, Ground War needs more maps. The fucking maps in this game are, are atrocious. There's only a, a few that are semi-good, this being one of them, uh, over, Overflown or whatever the fuck, Overflow, that's it. Overflow's a good map as well, and oh, what the hell's the other one? I can't remember. There's like three or four of them that I like, but most of them like Hijacked and freaking Carrier. I'd like to meet the person who developed Carrier, because they're they need to be swift kicking the nuts. They're, 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 that, that map is absolutely horrendous, but hopefully the map packs will give Ground War a little bit more uh, change, because it seems like I play the same five maps every fucking game, every single time I'm on the game. I mean, but uh, anyways, guys, I'm out. Final score is 65 and six. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Follow me on. Twitter, like me on Facebook, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Expect another video in the next couple days. Actually, I may even try doing a live comp tonight after I put this video out, so maybe there'll be another video tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.